Hey, brothers and sisters, right off the bat, let me remind you to get those thumbs up to donate. My PayPal link, me link will be in the description box. And did also to the brother, we still got sisters in the community, right? So a lot of them help this, help me. All right. I say this be, because they are just as much at risk as we are by these women that I'm going to present in this video. All right, so like, share, subscribe. When you subscribe, click that bell. And let's not forget, let's get those thumbs up. Oh, let's start breaking this down. Okay. And so we hear the, the BAF talk about self-hate, 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 right? But you will see what it is, all right? And one of the things we're going to understand that this is something that is being taught directly to children. Directly to children. By who? The black mother, all right? These women have no sense of honor in what it is to be a woman because of who's trained them to be like this. All right. So let's just look in. It's sad. It's real sad. All right. Y'all remember this guy, right? <laughs> The child God tries to go be with the dad. The mom pulls the child back. Y'all remember this, right? The woman is filing a false report for all these people that says, well, the woman is crying, so he must be real. Everything, when you look at this, um, look at it first as the woman setting up the brother. We was talking about the club thing. All these women were saying, it's for real. It's no, it still was a setup. She went there to do what she wanted to do, right? And she had to walk, go with what everybody wanted to happen because, and she she got famous off of it because she was filming stuff. Why would this be if she was it wasn't a setup? We look at somebody calling nine one one, but again, we see the cell phones saying that it's a setup the whole time. Oh, by the way, this is uh, the the real African woman, not descended of slave, but somebody that came over from Africa. Think about that real quick. So while we're talking about this queen action, pay attention to this. More than crime, more than accidents, more than cancer, more than heart disease. Our queens have been a limit. The so-called queens, well, she's not my queen, but y'all's queen have been living eliminating the ability for us to grow our numbers on this earth since 1973, more than everything else that has taken our lives. Oh, we're at 24 million, not counting Georgia. I mean, not counting California, New Hampshire, and Maryland. But if you add them in, 
it would probably be between 50 and 60 million Afro lives taken in their womb. They killed us off in their womb more than everything else, right? But we supposed to be okay with it. We should be supposed to be, but that's our queen. That's our queen. Yeah, only a foolish person that love evil would do that. More queen mean. Pay attention. All right. Who taught this to her? It wasn't the brothers. Who taught this to her? Where does she get these mannerisms from? Who got her to this point where she feels like she's nothing without somebody else's weave on her head? Think about that for a minute. All right, this is why we, we don't let the BAF define nothing. They don't get to define what self-hate is. They always make it about dating is because nobody wants to be bothered with a woman that is going to take their child from them, make them pay money, and then turn around and teach their children to not like the color of their skin or the natural hair that the Most High gave them. Oh, that converts light into energy along with her skin and stuff like that. Y'all y'all saw that video. All right, who teaches this? Is not the brothers, but the brothers are so, sure enough running away from women that teaching this to the children because we see it and we're like, if we have a seat with the black woman, is she going to do this? Is she going to take me to child support court even though I want to take care of my child? If, does she want the state involved in my child's upbringing? Is she going to fight me on everything I try to teach my child because she don't know what's best? But she don't care. She just want to have a word. Nope. Ain't bothering with her. This is sad. Alright. So where do we go from here? She's your queen to be. Again. For all the dudes that's trying to protect us. She ain't mine. But she's. She's your queen to be. While we don't want to have nothing to, wrong, to do with women that teach that kind of stuff and that set up brothers like that, y'all can have her because she's your. She's your queen to be. And the rest of us brothers ain't having her at all. So you triple S crew, you thug and you simps, she's all yours while she's vying for the Caucasian man. She's your queen to be. All right. So again, let's get them thumbs up. Y'all know what to do already. understand this we like the smiling faces smiling faces we like these smiling faces we like women that don't use our children as a tool we the afro men have an affection for women that is not the adversary when we get home. It seemed like the black woman is teaching everyone to do wickedness against the Afro men. And the only women that's not taking it up 
is the women with a just a, a lot less melanin. The black woman seems to have taught betrayal everywhere. But the women that have a lot less melanin are the first to choose good Afro men. Why are they so willing to be there for the Afro man when the black woman has to get her creepy simps triple S crew and hotep group to try to force men to wait on something that is no longer worth our weight. Force us to be, get buy into something after they get finished using it and they can't take care of it. Oh, but they have the same colors. No, nope, it's about the seed. And women that look like this want to carry my seed and raise my family with me. I'm down for that. I ain't down for all the rest of the stuff you saw in here. All right. One, I have no kingdom, so I'm not looking for queens. Wife, yeah, that'll work. Somebody that's coming in thinking they're going to be a queen or something. Nope. Most High didn't give us kings and queens. Y'all better start reading 1 Samuel 8 chapter. Final thoughts. Congratulations, black women. Congratulations to training your children in such a way that they will probably be hitting the wall at a younger age than you are, and you're doing it at 40, 35. Wow, how sad. Y'all trained these children to be worthless and actually not like their hair or the color of their skin. Who does that to children? Oh yeah, I forgot black women do. But that's it, I'm out.